Kevin, what stands out as, as most frustrating, disappointing, whatever word you want to use in terms of how this series has played out to this point? Um, we losing. I'm just not making the right decisions. Losing. With 11 shot attempts tonight, how much of that is the way that they're playing you, how you're reading the floor? Yeah, I feel like the first two games I was trying to be too aggressive. You know, team that's loading up on me, that's trying to take me take me out of all my actions. I felt like I was trying to still force it the first two games. And so I'm watching film, a lot of my teammates were open and they were knocking down shots. So I felt my approach to this game was to play off of everybody and play off the the um, play, get, get in the floor of the offense and let the ball move and find me. And, um, you know, that's just how I finished. I mean, I was, I felt like I was making solid reads. I felt like that uh, we had a good flow. I mean, probably should have took more shots, but I just tried to play the game the right way without being too aggressive or forcing turnovers. I didn't want to get no live ball ones, just playing one-on-one -on -one out at the top. I was just thinking too much, to be honest, this whole series, like how I'm going to approach the game, you know what I'm saying? So we got another game to play, you know, another opportunity, and I'm looking forward to that. Kevin, you just said you're overthinking too much. I mean, just, I guess, how do you get out of that? I mean, just trying to figure out where the help is coming from, where I'm going to be, how I'm going to be guarded in certain actions. And, where to make the right pass, when to be aggressive, when to let my teammates open it up for me. So sometimes, you know, basketball is when you just flow and you don't have to think about it. You know, I mean, in my mind, I'm just trying to see how I can help everyone and how I can. And sometimes I end up taking myself out the game, you know. Kevin, this is twofold. I mean, it seemed like you were, you know, used a little more as a screener today, a little more decoy. I mean, was that, was that part of what was going into what you're discussing there? I mean, let's see, in the first two games, it just felt like, you know, it was just a lot of, it wasn't a lot of space for me to operate the score, so I didn't want to force it, like I said. And maybe that's the wrong decision coming into this game. I should have been probably more aggressive to score, but, um, I was just trying to play it the right way, you know, trying to read the game and let the game come to me. Kevin, I mean, we know what NBA history says about teams that are down 3-0 in the playoffs. Just what's the message from you or from anybody in that locker room to keep you guys high-spirited, even though the odds might say it's it's futile at this point? I mean, we know what it is. I mean, I don't think no speech or anything to do at this part of the year. You know what it is. You know, we're down 3-0. We got another game was today on Monday. Let's come out and play. Kevin, you've obviously been at at the center of scouting reports for years and years. What is it about this defense that is different than what you see maybe in the past? I just think they got more size than us. You know, they got six. Marcus Smart, the smallest guy in their lineup. I mean, he's six four. You know, so they swarming a lot in the paint. What, what do you think you have to do to turn it around? Me? Yeah. Maybe shoot more. Maybe just be be smarter. You know, catch the ball closer to the rim and play faster. I mean, um, catch and shoot more. I'm trying to figure it out by watching film tomorrow.